everybody. Today's practice problem comes from Principles of Microeconomics by Dirk Mateer and Lee Kopik. And today we're going to do chapter two, problem number nine. The problem begins by asking, where would you plot unemployment on a production possibilities frontier? So to think about that, the first thing that we need to do is to draw some sort of generalized production possibilities frontier, right? So we can say, well, we know that a production possibilities frontier just reflects a world in which we're producing two different goods. And then we put the quantity of one of the goods on one axis and the quantity of the other good on the other axis. So I don't really know what to call the goods here. So I'll just call them, I'm boring, we'll call them good x for the x axis and good y for the y-axis. And we say in general that the production possibilities frontier, or alternatively the production possibilities curve, generally has a shape that's bowed out in a way similar to this here. And this is just because, as we've mentioned a couple of times before, the production possibilities frontier is really the maximum output that an economy can create. That this is really the maximum output of different combinations of good x and good y, obviously. It's showing all the different combinations of good x and good y that this economy can produce if it's using its resources efficiently. So we can't produce anything outside of the production possibilities frontier, and so on and so forth. And if we're using our resources efficiently, then as we move towards more production of good x, meaning as we go down the production possibilities frontier, if we're using our resources efficiently, we're switching over those resources that are good at making good x and bad at making good y. And that's how we would efficiently shift resources from one place to another. And the result is that you get a curve that looks something like this. So back to the question at hand, which is one of unemployment. And by definition, unemployment is a situation where resources are not being used efficiently, right? that as long as a person is able to do something, able to produce something, employing that person is going to result in higher output than not employing that person. Unless, of course, you're just getting in everybody's way and really reducing overall output. But let's assume that away for the time being. What that would imply is that if we had unemployment in this economy, we would be somewhere strictly inside this production possibilities frontier. You know, maybe we'd be at a point like this. This would be a lot of unemployment, actually. But nonetheless, this would be an example of a point where we have unemployment. And in fact, unemployment could be represented by almost any point within this production possibilities frontier, because the overall point that we're trying to make is that as soon as we have resources not being used, we're not producing the maximum output that we could. The next part of the question asks, where would you plot full employment on a production possibilities frontier? So we can think about that. We said that unemployment, if there are productive resources that are not being employed, then we're not on the frontier or the set of maximum output that we can achieve. So. In one sense, if we have full employment, that, that should imply that we're actually on our production possibilities frontier. There is one caveat to that. Let's say we have full employment, meaning that everybody has a job, but they're not necessarily employed in the way that maximizes their usefulness. In that case, we could have full employment and still be in here somewhere because the resources just weren't allocated efficiently. But if we assume that under full employment, not only are the resources being used or employed, they're actually being employed in some sort of efficient manner, that we don't have the rocket scientists working at Starbucks when there's rocket science to be done or something like that, then we can actually say that a point that represents full employment would in fact be on the production possibilities frontier. We can't say where necessarily, I just sort of drew this arbitrarily, 
But if resources are all put to their efficient uses, we're going to be somewhere on this set of maximum outputs that we can get. Now the last part of the question asks, now suppose that in a time of crisis, everyone pitches in and works much harder than usual. What happens to the production possibilities frontier? So here, we can think about, well, what does working harder mean? If we're working harder in at all a useful way, working harder means that we're actually producing more output. So I, as a worker, am a given resource. If I'm working harder, then me as a resource is able to produce more than I was under normal times. So what that implies is that if everyone is working harder, we still have a fixed level of resources, we still have a fixed number of people, but we're able to get more production out of those resources. And that's going to shift the production possibilities frontier outward. So what we're going to see, assuming that we're working harder both to produce good Y and to produce good X, we would get a shift to the production possibilities frontier that's maybe not a shift outward by the same amount on both axes, but we would get some sort of generalized shift outward. Then maybe good Y would shift more because our effort just has higher returns for good Y than for good X or something like that. We don't know exactly where it would go, but working harder would lead to some sort of shift outward or away from this origin. So we can think of this here as what would happen if everyone in our society is in fact working harder. Conversely, we could think about a situation where everybody's just a little bit lazier. Maybe you're checking Facebook more. Maybe you're more tired. Maybe the weather's bad and you're just cranky and don't feel like working. Under those situations, you would see, rather than a shift of the production possibilities frontier outward, you would see a shift inward instead.